I saw this journey for people, and I'm assuming it's you guys and your people and things like that, but I saw this rock on the sand on the shore and um, coming out of the rock at the bottom were these people in canoes and or kayaks actually. And they're individually in kayaks and they have like their helmets on and their, you know, life jackets on and they're in these bright orange canoe, nope, kayaks. And they're coming out of the rock at the bottom and kayaking on sand to get into the water. And the, the, the journey from the, the rock to the sand isn't far. It's just a, sh- it's just a beach. Um, but you could see up on top of the rock is Moses with his staff. And after the people are out, he breaks the edge of it and all comes down. So you can't, no more can come through. And nobody can go back. Um, And so that happens. And so they get into the water. And I can see the water is like really, really turquoise and blue. And I can see them, you know, that this isn't the end of that. They went into the water. Yay, that's over. No, they have to go across this open sea now. And this not a cloud in the sky. So the sun's beating down on them. And they've got a kayak in open water. And there's no storms or anything but they have to kayak in open water. Um, so they start to go. And it almost looks like a little bit of a mirage is ahead of them, like this snowy mountain peak, but it's sort of miragey. So when they continue to follow towards it, they come upon this. It's not an island, but it's shallow shallow water up into a, 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 a sandy um, piece of beach that's just in the middle of the ocean. And it's just white sand, and it's this little piece. And as they, as they kayak up to it, something comes out in the spirit because it wasn't there before. And it's this ship. And it's like this ship that I, I, I automatically thought, okay, they've done all this work and they get to get on the ship. Now it's going to be less work for them because it's strong and it's able and it's, and it's going to take them where they need to go. But that wasn't, that wasn't it. It literally became a shipwreck and fell apart and snapped in half and went under. So they continued on in this open water. Well, the journey took them to what I believe was what they thought looked like. Maybe it was just really far in the distance, but it got like a mirage feeling. But they made it up to these mountains that were covered in snow and ice. So by the time they got to where they could fit in, it was a very narrow path of ice. So you had to kind of canoe very, you know, I keep saying canoe. You have to kayak very... um, you know, small, close to you strides. And you have to follow this really tight path of curves until you're out of the space. So as you guys are going through this space, you come out on the other end. That's not the end. It's a desert now. And you guys can literally see the water drying up as you're trying to go through. It's the same, it's the same, um, small, a bit like river type thing that you're trying to go through. Um, very small and short, but it, an odd thing happens in this in this place in the desert is you had some sort of fish in your con- kayaks or something, and I can see, and they're small, and I can see you guys like bailing them out into these little puddles that were left. There was barely any water in this place. Like you could see the scorched, you know, you know the dry land and, and the orange it was like orange there just to show that it's really hot, you know. Um, but you're bailing these fish out into this puddle. So they land in water that's sort of shallow, but they have to come out. And then I think it enables you guys to be able to still float in water to get through this because I don't think you could have before maybe. But now your, your, your kayak has an anchor that you have to drag. So you've got this anchor that you're dragging through this desert. And you're going and you're going and you're going. And so I think after this point, what lies ahead of you is some sort of kingdom. And this is where at the end, I don't really quite know what's happening. I can only see, oh, no, 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 there's a fog. I forgot about the fog. Um, after the desert, there's a fog that you go through. And it goes on for a little while. There's nothing you can really see. And so that way, when the kingdom starts to come up, you can only see bits and pieces of it. Like I can see like trumpets in one section. I can see like this light up in another section and I can see brightness here and, but nothing is clear. So 
um, there's not like a, you know, it's exposed completely to where you're like, oh, and you can see everything and all of its glory and all of its purpose and everything. And they're very specific things that are, uh, that are shown and I can't quite see what they are. They're all different and strange. I can't really see what they are, but that was the end.